Hi everyone, as you can see, I've got a new toy. The Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter contemporary super zoom lens. And it is absolutely amazing. The image quality, the picture quality, uh, is, and the, the build quality is just fantastic. It's, I can't have, I don't have enough good things to say about this lens. It has a, a lot of awesome features, and you know, it just looks amazing. And even though I have only had it, for a little more than 24 hours, I have already fallen in love with it, and I don't. I feel actually prepared to give a, a fairly thorough uh, early review of it. In fact, and I, I don't think my opinions are going to change in any negative way as I use it further. So, let's rewind time a bit and unbox this thing. As you can see, I bought this lens from Matarama, and I must say that I got a pretty good deal. $790 in a bundle with a Sigma USB dock. That's coming separately, and I'm looking forward to trying it out. I'm really impressed by Sigma's packaging of this lens. It's a great unboxing experience, and they've included a lot of thoughtful accessories. The lens comes in this nice soft shell protective case, and the accessories are in this box. There's a nice big lens cap, a rubber ring to replace the tripod collar if you want to just shoot handheld, and a couple of straps for the lens and the included lens case. Look who showed up to help! Or not! Everyone seems to have other places to be when I start talking about lenses. I don't know why, it's a, as it's a conversation I can carry on single-handedly for hours! Now for the part you've all been waiting for. Let's take a look at the lens itself. It definitely has some weight to it. You can tell there's a lot of glass to this thing. It has a very satisfying heft to it. Absolutely beautiful. Great job, Sigma. Now, let's take a closer look at this lens. The camera mount has a bit of weather sealing here, as we can see, uh, this rubber gasket that uh, means that you should be a little bit more weather resistant than your typical lens. There's a removable tripod collar that you really need for this long and heavy of a lens. The autofocus selection switch has three settings, autofocus, manual override, and manual focus. Manual override is a setting that is customizable with the Sigma USB dock and is engaged by either the switch or by turning the focusing ring while autofocusing. Next is the focus limiting switch. Limiting the autofocus improves the speed of the autofocus when you know roughly how far away your subject will be. There is also the optical stabilization switch, which has two different modes. Mode 1 is for general shooting, and mode 2 is optimized for panning shots. Finally, we have the custom mode switch, which you can set up with the Sigma USB dock. This switch allows you to lock the zoom at a number of different focal ranges. The focus dial is smooth and accurate, very satisfying to use. The zoom ring is also very smooth though it is a huge rotation to go from 150 to 600 millimeters. I can just about do it without shifting my grip, but that's only because I have these huge meaty claws. I love the distance scale. This is a really professional looking feature. So, I've been doing a lot of photography here around the house. I'm getting some great pictures of birds at the feeders. I even got a really good picture of a hawk way up in the top of a tree over there. And I'll take this moment to demonstrate just how long the zoom range of this lens is and how far it'll just go way it'll just go way out there. And you can get that I can get that picture of a hawk and with and if I crop it down I can it's actually a really nice photo. But anyway, I'm off to Silver Lake to get some pictures of waterfowl. Hopefully I'll see something more than just mallards because that's what you usually see. But even then I'll be able to test out the capabilities of this and We'll really see what it can do. So, let's go!
Well, that was fun. I'm now going to go into the dark room, or light room, actually, as the case may be, and edit some of my photos, and I'll uh, share with you the results of that. I'm pretty confident that they're going to turn out just absolutely fantastic. But I will include not only the images themselves here, but also detailed zooms of into the photos, so you can see just how sharp this lens is. So, in conclusion, this lens is awesome. I really can't have enough nice things to say about it. My, f maybe a few complaints I might have it is the focus is a little bit slow at dark apertures and fully extended, but it works pretty well. It's a little bit off and I'm looking forward to seeing if the C Sigma USB dock can may maybe offer some adjustments that will let me correct that and get some uh, better make autofocus more accurate. I did miss a few shots because of that, but I really think that I'll be able to correct that with the USB dock. Other than that, everything is just about ideal with this lens. The aperture is a little dark for if you're shooting in low light situations, but if you're shooting just shooting during the day like you probably will be since this is largely for sports and wildlife you will have plenty of light in most situations to where you'd want want to use this lens and really this is just an amazing value it's even if you bought it at the list price of a thousand dollars you'd still have a bargain because for this sort of zoom reach or even for a prime lens that had this kind of range at 600 millimeters, you're looking at a huge chunk of money. Money. I mean, so if you're on a budget, this is really the best option for a wildlife lens. It's affordable, high quality, and amazingly versatile. We'll see how um, the next uh, few months go with it, and I, if I, my opinion changes, I will let you know here on Illuminations from the Attic. Uh, and I really hope you subscribe, hit that notification button so you keep up to date with all my new videos. I'm making a lot of new content uh, with uh, drone footage and adventure videos and reviews like this. And I really like sharing my experiences with you all. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!